Today is Friday, February the 10th, 2023, and we've been talking about the nature and character of God. Obviously, that that'd take a, a semester or two of college hours just to to get through it in thoroughness, but we've, we've touched the surface, believing that you're going to spend some time on your own to do it. And we've been using this text in John 4, 24. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. And when we begin this week, we we started by talking about a child. How a child reflects their family, particularly in physical traits. And and there are so many examples of that. And what I'm about to say, you you may think, well, that's a little bit inappropriate. But I've got to say it because it just felt like, I, I see this influenced every everywhere in my life as I watch people. I'll never forget <clears throat> my mother's last words. The last words I heard her speak. She was a, in about the fourth or fifth year, maybe the third year of advanced dementia. And all my, my siblings and some of their spouses with a few grandchildren were gathered in, in a room and she was lying on, on the bed. And we were gathered around her and around the bed and and out of nowhere she spoke. And that was really unusual because at this time, 90% of the time, all she did is make these weird noises. And she would walk around with this and stuff, but she would just, uh, you know, no no word would come out. And with, with my family in the room, she looked directly at me and said, You look just like my dead dad. Wow. I never heard my mother say another thing. And I never remember hearing her say that, but I do remember hearing others say to me that I looked like my mom's dad. Now, I really didn't know my grandpa real well. It wasn't that I didn't know him, but I had spent a very limited amount of time with him growing up. After I was a baby and had lived close to him, we moved far away and didn't didn't see him every year. Maybe every two or three years sometimes, maybe four or five years went by. And in those vacation times when we went back to Ohio, I would see my grandpa and have, oh, maybe an hour or two, sometimes maybe three or four hours of interaction with him over the course of a whole week. And then just a couple times after I was married, I had some interaction with him, and then he passed. But I I heard these words, you look just like my dead dad. And I thought, wow, I did look like him. I I didn't totally look like him, but I I had uh, kind of the physique he had, and he was a big man, and, and... I gave that example to say this. The more we relate to God, the more we understand his nature, his character, the greater is the likelihood that we will reflect him. Remember, he's spirit. So the closer I get to him with my spirit, the greater that is going to have an impact upon who I am and how I live. And the more we know him, the better we understand him. By the indwelling Holy Spirit and the picture of God in the Bible, the better we're going to be able to worship him. Because then our spirit gets a greater identification with him. And the knowledge, the truth, the facts, the authenticity, the integrity of all of our knowledge of him begins to come out in how we worship, how we praise, how we adore how we give praise with our lips, how we live our life in praise to him, to the glory of his praise. And as I think through through God's essence, his spirit, he is spirit and he is life. As I think through his greatness, his knowledge, his power, his authority, his presence, that he's a personal God. And as I think through his goodness, his holiness, his love, his faithfulness, his righteousness and his unchangeableness, I'm thinking, Not only do I want to know him more, I really need to know him more. And to think, 
that little less. Just one human being among seven billion plus human beings that now live on the planet. Not that have lived, because there's more than that have lived. That God, that this majestic, awesome, loving, great God would desire to have a relationship with me and that I could, I could reciprocate because he made me spirit. He made me in his likeness that I can have a relationship with him. I want that. I desire it. And since I was made in his image, he made me with a God consciousness that I need to have a relationship with him. So how, how can I resist that pull? How can I resist him drawing me nearer to himself? And grasping his nature should enable us to become better people through our grateful acceptance of his love and an intense commitment to becoming more like this awesome God whom we know, whom we love, and whom we serve. It helps us comprehend the purpose of discipline and suffering, which are means to a better end by a deity who is not just rooting for us, cheering us on, but is doing every reasonable thing to assist us in our journey of growth. I'm believing to see his glory reflected in my life, mirrored in my life, his love, his holiness, his righteousness, his presence, his power, his person. That someone would say, you look just like Jesus. That they would say to you and about you, wow, when I'm around you, I think I've been hanging out with Jesus. <laughs> May God be glorified in us and through each of us today. Pray with me. Oh, Father, Father God Almighty, Abba, Father, that you would want to have relationship with me, that you desire it, and that your, your spirit desires to, to dwell with my spirit, and, and I have that sense back toward you, God. I have that reciprocation coming back toward you. I, I want to please you. I want to be by you. I want to be like you. I'm praying that over everyone who watches these videos this week that relationship will just be huge for us and we'll desire to be like Jesus. I give you praise for working that out in our lives that we'll reflect you as in a mirror in the name of Jesus. We ask it, we believe for it, and we accept it. Amen. God's grace, God's peace, God's joy, God's hope, God's life, God's essence all over you. Have a fantastic day.